Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, in this epic edition of WWE Debates, this is the third edition, and we are covering The Undertaker's legendary WrestleMania streak, currently standing at the numbers of 21 and 0, defeating guys like CM Punk, Shawn Michaels, The Viper, Randy Orton, The Animal, Batista, and Triple H on three different occasions. We'll undiscover the streak. We'll find out should it end, should it not end, who should end it, when should it end, how should it end. All that and more inside. So stay tuned, stay watching for all that and more inside this video. Hopefully you're entertained, hopefully you have thoughts, hopefully you have predictions, hopefully you have speculation, hopefully you have conspiracies. And hopefully most of all you're entertained and you enjoy. Sincerely, A.J.Z. WWE Debate Issue Number 3, The Undertaker, should the streak ever end? Put this aside, put the streak aside, put the feet on the side, put the numbers aside, and look at reality. Look at the legend. The Undertaker calls himself the Phenom, but that's just a catchphrase, that's just a name. I live it, I prove it, I made you Z, I'm the guy day in and day out, whether you like me or not, whether you hate me or not, I get the job done and I do a damn good job, well I do it! So talk all you want, preach all you want, just realize AJZ is above this whole streak, nah, I'm just kidding. I just thought I'd ram a little bit about AJZ being this, AJZ being that, but today we're going to cover something that, well... WWE debate number three. The Undertaker, should the streak ever end? Yes or no? And we will also cover saying if the streak should end. And if so, who should that lucky person be? Now, before I pull it off the wall, if I, before I pull who's gonna, if the Undertaker streak should end, should, it, should not end, well, before I do that, we're going to just decide, well, if it ever does happen, when should it happen, and who should that man. I think no matter who it is, no matter how it happens, The Undertaker's streak ending match should be his last match. And I think that The Undertaker should quote unquote die after that streak match ended. Because I think his legendary career, he could be carried out in like a coffin, he could be carried out in a casket. And I think no matter if he's in the Hall of Fame, because I guarantee you, Undertaker's going to be in the Hall of Fame one day. No one can argue that. He's the phenom. He's the legendary Undertaker. You have to say that the Undertaker should be carried on a coffin. He should have like this weird funeral sadistic thing with a bunch of smoke and air, stuff going in the air. And he should be carried out of the arena. Never seen again on WWE television. I think that would be a great thing. It'd make a mystique. Obviously, you'd miss the Undertaker. Obviously, you'd want to see an appearance. But I think when it ends, it should end at his last match. And he should be carried out of the arena in a coffin and quote unquote be dead. Now, who should end the streak? There's names. John Cena is the name and the face of the WWE, and it has to be someone big. If Shawn Michaels couldn't do it, if Randy Orton couldn't do it, if Batista couldn't do it, if Triple H took three times, three times to do it, the man who led D-Generation X, the game, the cerebral assassin, the guy with the arguably the best chest in WWE, the man who invented the pedigree, actually the COO of the WWE today, if he couldn't end the, if he couldn't end the streak, who can't? It's got to be a big name. It's got to be someone who fights day in and day out. Someone who works their ass off for the company. It shouldn't be a part-timer. It shouldn't be a guy who comes in once every few months, once for the big shows, does a promo every other Raw. It should be a guy who fights his ass off. It should be a guy who works his ass off for the company. And right now, the name, the face, the brand, and the only guy really that I can think of that hasn't challenged for the streak that should is John Cena. Otherwise, we could do a Batista rematch. We can do a Viper rematch, because back then it was the legend killer, Randy Orton. He was a younger, more cocky, arrogant, real-life guy. I think he could have another shot for it. Batista could have another shot for it. But I think, all in all, John Cena's got that attitude of never give up, never tap out. He wouldn't tap out to the Hell's Gate. I think he'd kick out a bunch of false finishes. I think there'd be a lot of uh, action, choke slams, last rides, FUs. Tombstone pile drivers, this, that, the other thing, probably a five knuckle shell from the top rope. I think it'd be an action packed match, and I think John Cena would be the man and pass the torch from the Phenom, the Undertaker, to the word life, never give up. John Cena, the guy who's been carrying the brand on his back for what, 11, almost 12 years now? So I think John Cena should end the streak, and the streak should end with the Undertaker's last match, and the Undertaker should be never seen again on WWE television after that. Now, 
we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty. Should the streak, should the legendary phenom, the legendary Undertaker streak, 21 and 0, should it go 21 and 1? We're gonna get down to it. I'm pulling off the one that's wrong and we're gonna stare at the one that's right. Should the Undertaker, the phenom, the guy who reinvented, who made the Tombstone Pile Driver, the guy who teamed up with Kane, the guy who teamed up with Paul Bear, the guy who reinvented the name of a gimmick, the Undertaker, should his 21 and 0 streak become 21 and 1? Should it end? Should it not? Yes or no. I think the Undertaker streak should definitely end. Every good thing comes to an end, whether it's in the real world, whether it's in entertainment, whether it's in sports entertainment, professional wrestling, every good thing comes to an end. And whether you like the Undertaker or not, you have to argue that his streak, his career, should go out in a certain way. And the Undertaker streak should come to an end. I don't care who it is. I don't care when it is. I just think, in my opinion, it should go out with a guy like John Cena or a guy who works his ass off day in and day out. You can put on a good match, you can tell a good story, you can entertain, you can do it well, and can have the torch passed to him. That's who I think should do it. And I think it should be The Undertaker's last match, like I said, time and time again. So should The Undertaker streak I ran? This is WWE number three. Tell me if you like it. Tell me like, comment, subscribe. Do you think it should end? Do you think it should not end? You can disagree with me. Just bring a point, bring it to back it up. But should the Undertaker streak ever end? I think it should. Rest in peace.